Right. My, my camera should be on right now. Thank you. Okay. I just want to let people know that Arlene's going to be doing another song right now, this one in studio, and we moved her up about, what, 15 years, 20 years now? <laughs> we're, in, we're in the 80s now, so, you know, eventually we'll get Arlene into the year 2000 because we love her dearly. What song are you going to do, darling? I'm going to do I Love the Nightlife. All right. Here on Almani Tonight, take it away, Arlene Chavez Mendoza. Make sure the mic's on. All the plans we had for fixing this broken romance now now i've got to go where the people dance i want some action i want to live action i've got so much to give now i want to give it lord i want to get some too oh, I, I, oh, I, I love the nightlife i love to boogie this for Eventually, we'll get my camera back. Thank you. <laughs> no, Arlene, want to thank you. Give another round of applause, please. She did a fantastic job. It's, it's tough, let me tell you, man. I was so nervous, I was going to run up there and turn on her mic. But, you know, <laughs> well, thank God. That's why we love interns. But, you know, so here we are back at my tonight. A couple of quick announcements, then I'll introduce these talented young ladies that, uh, you know, are coming up here just to delight you with so much information, talent, and beauty. Okay, remind you once again, we have the town hall meeting on community vision for the Almani Gateway Development. That is Thursday, January 24th, 2013, 630 at the Grace Black Auditorium, 3130 Tyler Avenue. And there'll be some light snacks and refreshments. And of course, once again, the Walk for Health, Mayor and City Council, schedule events, 10 a.m. registration, 1030 warm-up and stretching exercises, 1045, walk to Lashbrook Park, 1145, 
pa- people pass out. No, I'm just kidding. Refreshments and announcements and a raffle. I'm just teasing. Pre-register by calling 626-580-2210. Meet at Fletcher Park, 3404 Fletcher Park Way, Amani, California. Wear comfortable clothes and shoes. Uh, the event will be canceled if it's raining. Hopefully it won't. More information, 626-580-2210. And you guys want to get out there because one thing about City of Almani, they are pro health and wellness. So you want to participate in that totally, totally. And I just want to make sure, is our little camera pay- pointing to us? Okay, you got all three of us? I bet you don't. See, I knew it. Okay, I want to introduce these young ladies. First of all, young lady to my left, your right, is Chef Kiki, founder and CEO of Fantastic. And that you can contact her at Kiki at FantasticDesserts.com. I wanted to say that real quick because, you know, I don't think I could have read it a second time. Anyway, how you doing, Miha? Fantastic. Thank you for asking. Was that a setup? It wasn't rehearsed. <laughs> seriously. I just wanted to make sure you people knew that. And next to her is, of course, the lovely and talented Sylvia Miranda. How you doing, Miha? Nice Look at her. You. She's so elegant. <laughs> She, no, you're supposed to say fantastic. There you go. <laughs> See, you got to rehearse people around here. So you guys give them a round of applause. Don't be shy. Don't be get so shy because we're in City Hall West. I don't know what it is. They get intimidated. <laughs> so we got to know what's going on. We'll start first uh, on our dais here. You know, it seems like it's uh, Empowering Woman Week. Uh, we're going to talk with Chef Kiki. What's the deal? What's the drill? What's fantastic besides you? Fantastic is... Uh, a business from my father's Puerto Rican race, a recipe, basically, that uh, was an idea in the year of 2008 mm-hmm. um, when I was a male lady in Southgate and was being sent home due to downsizing of the Postal Service. Doesn't that sound like an oxymoron when you <laughs> say, um, I was a male lady? <laughs> male carrier. Male Te- technician. Male technician. Thank you. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Um, and so, anyhow... It was during that time when I, I wasn't working and with no income that something stirred inside of me to learn my father's Puerto Rican recipe that I enjoyed growing up. Mm-hmm. And he's passed away now, so... Well, oh, God rest his soul. Yeah, so I called my stepmother in Arizona, and she taught me over the phone. And I practiced a couple weeks until I got it right. And once I did, that's when my passion for flan started. And... Uh, it's a few years later now, and I'm officially fantastic as of uh, 2010. Hey, man, round of applause on that. See that? <laughs> Self-made woman. Love it. Flavors. I love it. And she is actually like the Baskin Robbins of flan. She, uh, you have like, what, 90 flavors? How many? Muscle menos. Muscle Now it's muscle menos. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sure. Wait a minute. Did we repeat this? Number 49. Here we are again. But that's really great. So what's the difference between... Uh, Puerto Rican and other kinds of flan. Was there like some secret recipe or? Um, it's just the recipe itself. Okay. It's not so much. Um, I mean, if you Google flan, there's, there's many, many recipes, but okay. it's just my father's recipe that he learned from his father and. Passed down by generations. Absolutely. Which, well, that's and, great. I bet, mean, like I said, I wouldn't want to give away any uh, tales or recipes here. No. But, uh, gee, what's the secret ingredient? <laughs> are you like the Colonel Sanders of, you know, flan? I'll never tell. Uh-oh, secret <laughs> sauce, folks. This is how it all begins. That's so, how it started. Yeah, that's, so, you know, it's like, I mean, we had some before the show started. I'm sorry, we don't have taste of vision here. But um, we really had, I mean, it was a, a treat for the tongue. It was a circus for the tongue because this food was so, so delicious, so fantastic. <laughs> and I'm not being paid to say this. <laughs> but it was really, it was really good. So I mean, uh, wh- how are you set up right now? I mean, because I know you do stuff you you do for different restaurants, right? Correct. Uh, for Manuel's original Tepeyac in the city of industry, I'm in there for. Um, That's not the original one, Mija. You know that. Number two. Thank you. Number two. <laughs> hey, you got a coach out there. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, because she was uh, okay. a fe- uh, you know a female male a male female. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was she was a male you know she was a lady. But, um, yeah, no, that's not, uh, the second. Manuel's. That's the one run by his sister, right? That's correct. Yeah, Dolores. Bless her little heart. Manuel's yeah. niece and nephew. Yeah, all the, all the musketeers. There and you let go. me tell you, it's really good stuff. So, you guys, how'd you hook that country? I saw, if you go to Facebook, you can, you can catch this lady. They had you there for the Christmas toy giveaway. Channel 9 had you. That's correct. See that? See how much, how much your career moved? She went from Channel 9 to us. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, we're going in a different direction. But no, I saw that and I was very impressed, you know, that they had you guys on there. And um, 
It's really good that you're able to do Are there any other restaurants? Are you looking for other restaurants? You, I know you're looking for interns. Yes, I'm looking for interns. We need That's volunteers, correct. folks. Volunteers for this young lady. Okay. Look, we got all these people. No, it's said volunteers <laughs> to help her, not eat it. <laughs> <laughs> They're ready to munch and on it. And my earring fell off on TV. That's not cool. But well, it's anyway. okay, but special effects. There you go. See, it's okay around here. We don't mind. Jewelry falls off. As long as it's not, <laughs> not body parts. Okay, so, you know, <laughs> for those of us like myself that are getting older, you know, we have to worry. But uh, let me tell you, uh, what do you think of Robert? He's great, huh? Amazing. Isn't Amazing. It? And wasn't I it good with it. him and Arlene? That was yes. like, what a combo, yes. man. Yes. Beautiful. That, that was fantastic. Yes, it was. Yeah. I had to do that. <laughs> so what is the future hole for Fantastic? The future, that's a good question. Um, that's why they pay My business <laughs> is based on faith. Okay. And it's, that's where it started from. So is my career. I know. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Because it ain't the money. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm actually just waiting for those right doors to open. Um, in the meantime, I do Flantini bars, and I will continue to create new flavors. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's back it up. <coughs> Flantini bars? Yes. Okay, I got to hear this one, folks. Are you ready? What is a Flantini bar? A Flantini bar is uh, a cupcake size B in the largest, down to a mini flan shot, in martini glasses, and it's very elegant, um, garnished, and it's a whole unique dessert um, place in a different way, not only to the eye, but to the palate. So it's, it's a great presentation and a great hit at an event, a wedding, um, corporate event, um, whatever, you know, gig is going on. Whatever gig is going on, you get a Flantini bar. That's it. Where's my Flantini bar? You'll, you'll get it really soon. That's what everybody tells me. You're going to get it real soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell you. I worry when 